So this is the uh, concept idea of a continuous uh, magnetic gate. Um, so going through the designers I've got labelled on here of north, south, north, south. I don't know which one's which, but also knows these to attract, these to attract. So it doesn't probably matter which one's inside or left or right. Well, um, as it goes with the, the idea, uh, as you can see, you get the outer circle, which is a size, and the inner circle, which is slightly smaller. Um, this one is a bit too big for this design. I just sort of built this. As you can see, I didn't get it right on either of them. But it still shows the idea that if I have down here a magnet that's on an independent bearing that uh, fits in the gap, that's obviously going to be a bigger gap, of course. But, uh, the magnet will go between there and it will be south this side and north this side, repelling these two. Um, but the idea is that because here is smaller and up here is larger, uh, given a bit of encouragement, I guess, it will travel through the gate, uh, through the expanding parts, going to the weakest point of the repulsion, being that it's going to be south on this side and north on this side, repelling. As it travels round and reaches the top, well, these flip round. This half is north, this half is south. So, as I had this north repelling, it goes... Uh, obviously, that's going to be... <sighs> right. Having the magnet on the inside north, it repels all the way to the top, reaches the top, north attracts to south. So that continues attracting round. This being wider, this being smaller, it travels to the strongest point you can find and continues round. Um, now, given that I have this entire uh, well, circumference to cover, I have uh, time that I can continuously uh, store kinetic energy in the form of either a heavy flywheel or a geared wheel that as it repels round goes into the attraction, attracts round to the strongest point that it can find over that duration it will have gained velocity the flywheel or indeed the uh, geared wheel will store kinetic energy that at this point maybe, maybe not, but it's just an idea that at this point, just after the very strongest force and the uh, the absolute you know maximum time that it rotates round, that it hits the repulsion side, that it would have stored enough kinetic energy to punch through and continue the cycle round each time, gaining velocity, gaining more speed, um, and maybe running just continuously running. Uh, this doesn't have to be either a very fast system because as I said over time I can gain a lot more kinetic energy because magnets will always always push pull repel attract they'll always work for like 200 odd years 300 years eventually neodymium magnets do run out or magnets do uh, but I have all that time it doesn't have to be a fast system I could have a one to 400 ratio, it doesn't matter that this is only going you know, at this speed around given that it can move this mass and accelerate it over time still accelerating, still accelerating, still accelerating, still accelerating still accelerating, even at this speed that my finger is actually travelling when it hits that point, all that stored energy, or at least part of it you know, 90% of it or 60% of it We'll just go straight to uh, punching through that to which its new starting speed is faster because originally you would have just moved it and it would have accelerated, 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 got to there, slowed down probably a bit, but still started, uh, still is going faster than the original start speed, which accelerates more, and it does its thing. So that's the idea, anyway. Because I've seen, like, you know, V-gates or uh, magnetic cannons and such. 
uh, which is basically V-gates as well, that they have a sticking point. That, uh, yeah, this has a sticking point too, but they often build very light, flimsy, you know, systems that I think actually they're, they're not fully working to their uh, design. Because in my eyes, we're used to things doing amazing stuff, working fast, and this technology, I think, uh, has got to work at a slower pace because we have all of this to gain energy and store it in the form of kinetic energy. And when it's, I guess, maybe at a certain speed or function or even has maybe a regenerative or regen generator on it or stuff like what the Tin Man's found, uh, the motor transformer, well, you know, a load won't be so much of an issue anymore. They will actually help accelerate the system. May even actually overcome that. So yeah, that's the uh, the basic design. As you can see, I haven't quite got it right. Bit too big, bit too small. But yeah, just want to share that with you. Well, uh, take care and have fun. Bye.